hello guys welcome back to our channel we have a two one news to run that one is coming from professor wally showing himself <laughs> he has a lot to say about president Muhammadu Buhar. in fact he's expecting him to say some certain words and he said until he has anything, anything short of that is not good enough and of course the northerners the northern elites have decided to own up to what is going on and in fact uh, it's quite a serious issue but honestly let's finally go into the news and we'll look at this critically uh, with the what the northern the, the northern elders are saying uh, they should they should do better than that but let's let's find out what it is that uh, the nobel uh no, laureate professor wally Surika has to say about the president of nigeria but before we go to the news proper we'd like you to subscribe to our channel by clicking on the red subscribe button beside it you will see a bell notification icon please go ahead click on it to get notified as soon as we update our channel on youtube well professor wally shoyinka has urged the president muhammad buhari to order the, to order the army to back nigerians in flushing out the color headsmen so Inka made the remark while urging buhari to publicly renounce the activities of killer headsmen across the country. Uh, the professor made a call in an interview with BBC PJ, speaking on what he is expecting from Buhari. So he said, address the nation in a very stained, unambiguous terms. Say openly. He's telling Buhari that you should say this openly. Yes, I I know I am the patron i am the matron of the cattle Rarers association association and so on yes i am a cattle rancher myself it is a business and i run my business on business terms i do not run my business by killing people i do not run my business by raping displacing torturing and i do not run my business by occupying land that does not belong to me whatever comes to you for illegal occupation or for trans or whatever comes to you for illegal occupation or for trespassing in another person's property is your business and i'm ordering the army i'm ordering all the security officers all the security forces to back citizens effort to flushing you people out i expect nothing less than even nothing less than this even at this stage hmm. do you expect the president to see all this let's continue well is the language i expect he said this is the language i expect the president Buhari, and as long as that language does not come i must consider him quite complacent with what is going on because the book stops at his desk nigeria has been experiencing crisis between herders and farmers across the country this crisis has led to lots of lives property destroyed and cattle killed only recently the eastern security network esn has chased fulani hesmen out of isi Ukwato area of abia state still in another news the northern elders have decided the northern elders have decided to speak up over what is going as quite an interesting one i must say and the cnepd uh, full name coalition of northern elders for peace and development has turned their anger at the stakeholders in the north for not doing enough in condemning the activities of the criminal headsmen operating in some parts of the country the statement of the northern elders group is coming at a time when the country is currently experiencing tension across and and arising from activities of these criminal headers in a recent report which was made by the nation the group said that the activities of this criminal headsman began as a joke but because the stakeholders failed to condemn these activities when they first started it seemed they were supporting them so the criminal head headsmen were encouraged to do more the group said that the long silence of stakeholders from the north in the face of rising insecurity and criminality in different parts of the country has brought a bad name to the north recall that in the past weeks there have been widespread agitation on social media concerning the activities of these criminal headers in some parts of the country it's got so bad that some communities and states in the southern part of the country had to ask the, the Fulani headsmen to leave their land. For instance, when when on the state government gave quick notice to the Fulani headers in the state, the attention of the presidency was attracted to the development. The presidency had condemned the actions, saying that it was unconstitutional for anyone to give quick notice to anyone to leave any part of the country and that it was a violation of the people's fundamental human rights. Sunday go also came under serious discussion when he gave quick notice to Fulani headsmen in Gaga community of Ibarakpa, local government area of Oyo State. Following his actions, 
the presidency had released a statement saying that the inspector general of police had issued an order of arrest for Sunday Boho. The commissioner of police of Oyo State, Ngozi Onadeko, was ordered to arrest Sunday Boho and transfer him down to Abuja. Amidst this crisis working the south, some people have said that it is bad for the entire ethnic group to be criminalized because of the activities of some persons from there. That the best thing to do is to fish out the criminal elements amongst the headsmen and punish them according to the law. But the argument was also that it is difficult to distinguish the criminal ones from the good ones. Hence the decision to ask them all to leave some parts of the southern part of Nigeria. The Northern Elders Group said that the bad image which has been given to the North is because the notable figures from the North have not openly condemned the activities of these criminal headsmen. The group said that if the region wants the rest of the country to know that they are not in support of the activities of these criminal headsmen and for people to take them serious, then they need to start condemning the activities of these people. They said that the truth is that the criminal headsmen are responsible for most of the criminalities taking place in some part of the country. In a statement which was made by the national coordinator of the group engineer Zona Guni, the, coordinator, the coalition said that it is shameful that the, northern, the notable northern elders who should have spoken against the activities of these criminal headsmen have remained quiet in the face of rising insecurity penetrated by the headers in different parts of the country. The coalition said the activities of these criminals, criminals who disguise as headers and commit crimes all over the country are condemnable and it's high time headers from, this, from that started condemning the actions if they want the rest of the country to take them serious. It is it said that they got to this present situation because when this criminal started, the elders from the north did not condemn them. So they thought their brothers were supporting them. And because of that, they began to do more. The group said that the drum of war, which is currently beaten in Nigeria, aroused arose from the insecurity problem caused by the actions of their criminal brothers and also by the unhealthy silence of the northern elders. It is said that when Igbos were asking that they be included in the security management of the country. They also spoke in support of their demand. They asked other northern elite to support this move, saying that including Igbos in the grand scheme of things in the country will give the Igbos a sense of belonging and to help. It will also help in settling the social tensions arising in the south is due to activities of criminal headers from the north. The group urged the president, Muhammad Buhari, to take another look into the recent appointment of the new service chiefs and see how the Igbos can be included in the security management in the country. Recall that a few days ago, when the president announced the appointment of the new service chiefs, there were agitations from some interest groups on why the Igbos were left out of the appointment, even though the presidency had released a statement saying that the appointment of the service chief did not have anything to do with ethnic identity, that it was purely based on competence of individuals. Well, it is good that the Northern Elders have openly condemned the activities of these criminal headsmen, and we hope other stakeholders from the region will do so too. The group believes that condemning their actions might help in restraining them as they will know that their elite, elite and brothers are not in support of their actions. Well, the truth be told, it's not just in condemning their actions. Condemning alone, saying the words, I will condemn in strong terms, is not good enough. Condemning in strong terms is not good. With condemning in strong terms, will it bring back lives that have been lost? Will it bring back farms that have, that have, been, that have been wasted? So there's some things that are not redeemable. If you ask me, don't just condemn them. They should be brought to book. They should face the full wrath of the law. They should never be above the law. Only then would the southerners and the rest of Nigerians who have over time felt marginalized and disgruntled feel like second class citizens in their home. Only then would they truly believe that they are one Nigeria. That's we're going to wrap it up. Let's meet to that comment section. What's the take on what Professor Wallace Shoyinka has got to say?